Hey team, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be taking a look at a post from r slash engineering students titled, Why do people assume engineers are earning a lot of money? Also, a lot of people subscribe from the last video, but still, over 90% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. It doesn't really do anything for you, but it helps me out a lot. So, thanks if you do that. Of course, some engineers have a high income, but on average, an engineer earns less than a doctor or a lawyer in most countries. People who don't know the industry assume that engineers are loaded with money. Many students at my university started engineering with me because they think it's an easy way to become rich someday, and some of them are dropouts. In my country, Germany, a realistic salary is 50 to 70k, which is decent, but not something crazy. I have chosen this major because I like the subject, and I'm actually interested in applied physics and math. My family thought I just picked it for the money though. Ah uh, yes, the age old assumption that engineers make a lot of money and that's the reason they're favorable. Cause it can't be that personality of theirs, right? <laughs> no, I'm uh, speaking for myself because I don't see what else people would be into. But why is there this assumption, right? That engineers make a lot of money because it is a true thing. Whether or not it's true in itself, the assumption is everywhere. You know, OP even says on average, an engineer earns less than a doctor or a lawyer in most countries, but right there. That's not comparing one for one. And what do I mean by that? Well, you've heard the age old adage, right? Time is money. Well, a doctor or a lawyer, they take so much school to become one of those. Whereas on average, you know, engineers really only have to get their undergraduate degree, which is four to five years. A doctor or a lawyer, that can take anywhere between, yeah, like eight to 11 years. I'm being very extreme. I know it's not always 11, you probably freaked out when I said that, <laughs> but those professions on average can take twice as long to get through schooling for compared to engineering. So I think you have to work that into the comparison, right? It's going to take you four years to become an engineer and you're going to start at this level, but then it's going to take you eight years to become a doctor, but you start at this level. I think the difference, you know, is offset by the amount of time it takes you to get there. That's something you have to consider when picking a profession. How long is it gonna take me to start making, you know, adult money? Another thing is, and I talk about this in a lot of my videos, is an engineer is a very general term. It stretches many industries and many jobs. It's not just kind of one thing. So it's hard to be like, oh, all engineers have this salary. You can get an average, but it's gonna be a pretty wide range. And I know that applies to doctors too, like there's a lot of different professions you can have in the medical field, but we only focus on these big fantastical stories, right? Whenever we talk about engineers earning a lot of money, we usually tend to focus on engineers in tech because tech is where a lot of the money is. Now there are some of those niche jobs, right? Like I know there's some electrical engineering jobs where you gotta go work up in the power lines and basically risk your life every day. And those people are in, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars. But again, that comes at the cost of like putting your life on the line. And those, for the sake of the argument, we'll just call outliers. But on average, I think when people talk about like, oh, engineers make a lot of money, it's typically in tech. And this assumption still lives on today, right? That engineers make a lot of money. But I feel like it was even more potent maybe like 10 years ago when the tech industry was booming. I think right now it even seems hard to believe that engineers make a lot of money because the tech industry is scrambling. Pretty much all your engineer friends, if you talk to them, either their company is in the process of doing layoffs, or they have a friend in the tech industry that's in the process of doing layoffs. Back like a decade ago, according to the stories I've heard, you know, you could just get a four year degree and then yeah, go to some tech company and instantly earn a six figure salary. And again, even that six figure salary phrase you always hear, right? Is that every engineer? No, again, we're talking about a very niche group of engineers. A lot of times you have to factor in the cost of living. A lot of these six figure straight out of college engineers that work for these tech companies work in these big cities. And so yeah, maybe they're earning like 150K, but they're maybe earning the same as someone that earns 90K at a tech job that's not in a big city. Because once you again factor in the cost of living, it pretty much equals out. But on paper, right, you're like, oh wow, 150K straight out of college, huh? 10K sign on bonus, that's crazy. Maybe a 5K relocation bonus, something like that. So I think you suffer from the thing of like, oh, it looks great on paper. But then when you actually look at it case by case, you start to realize, oh, it's not that great. And so I think that a lot of engineers, we see it firsthand, right? Like what jobs are actually available to us. And we're like, wait, this isn't, <laughs> I don't know why the public has this perception of us. This isn't what they think it is. But there's so many things you have to factor in. How much schooling does it take? Where are you living? What industry are you in? Once you get all of those things, you know, added up into the equation, 
it starts to make sense. But to anyone outside of the industry, right, they're just going to read headlines. They're going to be like, wow, you're making that much? That means you make that much. And it's like, well, I, I do. That's what my base salary is. But I don't see a lot of that money, if we're being honest. <laughs> but again, that's only if you read the fine print, if you read the actual article. That's never going to be what the headline reads. But then again, I'm an engineer in tech, so I have a bias to what's happening in tech. So if we want to hear some other stories, you know, we got to hear from other people. So let's take a look at the comments, see what they say. It can be a gateway to a lot of money. I know many that did very well at it and with only four to five years of college. Exactly. That's that time piece I was talking about. <laughs> me watch shopping. Am I right? That's that time piece I was, okay. That's not funny. <laughs> but yeah, even like me, I have a sister that's two and a half years older than me and she's a pharmacist. And I started working full time like a couple years before she started working full time. It's just different careers, right? You know, she makes way more than me, but I was making money for two years while she wasn't. In a few years time, right? She's going to be way ahead of me, but it's just, you know, the career I chose. So, and that's not to say like what I'm making isn't good. It's good. It's just, you have to make a decision. What is good enough to you? Cause yeah, some people might look at an engineer's salary and be like, oh, that's no, that's not enough for what I want. And then they might choose a different career because of it. Now, if you're just picking a career based on the money, maybe don't go into the medical field. Okay, I don't want you in there looking at me. <laughs> but I'd be remiss if I didn't admit that that's one of the things that people consider when they're picking a career. Shouldn't be the whole reason they pick a career, but it's definitely factored in. Like if doctors weren't getting paid that much, I don't think they would want to stress themselves out doing that. But then you look at teachers and you're like, wait, why are you guys stressing yourself out doing that if they're only paying you that much? And then you guys got to ask your class at the beginning of the year for like glue and Kleenex and all these other supplies that the district's not going to afford you? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, no, uh, doesn't seem like teachers get paid enough for what they have to put up with. You've met parents, right? Imagine having one of those parents, you know, their kids kind of having trouble in the class and then they were having trouble at work. So they take it out on the teacher. I don't think I could ever be a teacher. <laughs> I think I know how to teach people. I think I'm a good teacher, but it's just everything around being a teacher. I don't think it's for me. No. <laughs> yeah, the summer break's nice, but I don't want to talk to these kids' parents. Are you kidding me? Because coming out of a four-year degree in the U.S., you're essentially making the median family income. BLS and Census Bureau have the data. Engineers may not be rich, but we're exceptionally well-off compared to other folks. Yes, it's all relative, right? Engineers might look at that and be like, what the heck? That's not that much, right? What did the OP say, right? They said... 50 to 70, right? You're probably like, oh, that's that's it. I've been hearing these stories about six figures. But then, yeah, you look at the average income of, what is the average income of Germany? Let me look it up. Oh, see, 54K a year, that's average. So being an engineer puts you right at average only after four years of school. That's really good. Obviously varies by country, industry, and company. Where I work, the US semiconductor company, Engineers typically start at 85k base. Those still doing engineering at 30 years of experience are around 250k base. Bonuses can add 50% or even a little more in good years. Oh my god, yeah, bonuses. I forgot that people talk about total compensation a lot. Like when people are talking about their salaries online, they never say, oh, this is my base salary. They always say, oh, this is my total compensation. So they work in all those tens of thousands of dollars they get in their bonuses. And so I think it like inflates the number pretty hard. Now, are they wrong in doing that, right? If that is their total compensation, what's so bad about saying that's how much they earn? If that's what they earn, right? But a lot of times bonuses are reported as if everything is going well. It's a projected bonus. It means if all goes well, this is what you will get. Right now, especially, things in the engineering world are not going as expected. So a lot of these bonuses aren't hitting like they used to. This is something I've seen firsthand in the tech industry. And I've talked to senior members at the company I work for about this change. You know, if you're a senior member at some of these tech companies, you know, you're getting tens of thousands of dollars as a quarterly bonus. That used to be something that they would rely on, right? That might be the family vacation for that year. But for the past four to five years, those bonuses are basically non-existent. So now more than ever, engineers don't feel like things are that great because they're really not relative to what they used to be. Another problem with engineering is it was so good for so long, so people got used to it. And when you take that away, they can have kind of an adverse reaction, as you could imagine. <laughs> it's like spoiling a kid their entire childhood. And then when they become a teenager, you know, the parent takes away all the money they've given them and the kid's probably gonna start crying, you know? <laughs> I think a lot of engineers are getting their money and toys taken away now and 
that's why they're crying because it used to be so good but it's not anymore but it's still good it's just not relatively as good right out of college engineers make the most amount compared to most majors yeah again like i said you know they start at a higher point and quicker those few years when they're earning money while well, you know maybe their contemporaries are in a different industry not earning any money really makes the difference add up it's kind of like if you were racing someone and you gave them like a 30 second head start that's what it's like to be an engineer straight out of college you might not win the race right your friend might catch up and then exceed you but it'll probably take like 10 years so for those first 10 years you feel really good and all your friends are probably like what the hell why do they deserve that they didn't go to as much school as i did but just give it a decade okay that dentist that spent all that time in school is gonna make way more than engineers <laughs> but again different industries, different stress, different lifestyles. You just have to decide what works best for you. And while we're talking about doing what's best for you, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, like the video, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you in the next one.